And there's my thumbnail for this video. Today we're going to be talking about properly formatting dates. It sounds boring, but it's actually really interesting. Stick with me because we're going to be working with dates and date formats for a couple of videos, but then we're going to be using them for useful things in programs. But today we're going to be looking at taking dates that can be entered by the user in different formats and formatting them in the format you need for whatever programming thing you're doing. Let's get started. Come on this way. Okay, most of you are probably familiar with the date command in your shell scripts in bash or whatever shell you're using. You just type date and well, it gives you the date. It gives you the day, the day of the month, the month, the year, the time down to the seconds and your um, time zone. Great, but you can format it many different ways simply by doing plus, then percent and a number of different characters. You can do S to get your seconds for your epoch time, your Unix time stamps. You can do y, capital Y for the full year, lowercase y for just a two digit year. You can do M, uh, which is your minutes. So it's 53 past the hour right now. A lowercase M will give you the month. Today is the fifth, or today, this month is the fifth month. We can go D, and that will give you the date, uh, the number. So today is 515. Um, and we can also do things like, um, Capital, well, I already did capital Y. A would give you the day of the week in short format. Capital A will give you the full name of the week. Uh, and of course you can do C, which is the same as doing nothing at all. Uh, another option would be dash capital I. So it's not plus and percent, it's just a very common standard date format. And it will give you the year, month, and day with dashes in between. Now, you can also format multiple of these together. So let's go ahead and just clear the screen. I'm going to say dash again plus percent and let's say I want it to be um, the month. I can do capital or lowercase m right and then I can do forward slash percent and I can do d for day and then I can do forward slash percent uh, y for year or capital Y for the full four digits. Um, now we can also uh, do other characters. We don't have to do dashes or forward slashes. We can do dashes. But again, uh, if we do this in this format, dash percent M dash percent D, that's basically the same as doing dash dash I. Okay, so we're getting lots of different formats here. You also can do, you know, basically whatever characters you want. You know, you have your percent and your character there. But I can do periods if for some reason I want to do dots in between. But you can also do full words. Now you can have space. You can have spaces if you uh, use a backslash to indicate indicate them. So I can do month percent, and I can do. Um, M, you know, something like that. And then I can do backslash space and I can say day and I can do like so and I can do another backslash space and I can say year and I can say percent capital Y and that will give me the word month colon the month day year uh, again that's great that's fine and dandy lots of different formats there uh, but what are some of our other options here well we can get the date from the user or input them into our scripts ourselves. So if I say date dash D, I can then give it a date. So I can say like May 10th, 1999, and it will give me the date for that. I can also put that same thing in another format. I can say five slash 10 slash 1999, and it's going to tell me the same information. I can also say something like 1999, dash 05 dash 10 and it's going to give me that same date. So you can see that I can write it many different ways. Uh, I can also you know type something out. I can say Jan 30 1930 or I can say January 30th or I can do it with a capital J. It's very forgiving. I mean you have to type something that makes sense uh, but the date command is very good at figuring out what date you're talking about. And if you leave out the year, you just give it a day and a month. Um, it's going to assume you're talking about the current year. So there you go, 2021. And I can say uh, 31. And if I do 32, that's going to give me invalidate because there is no January 32nd. Of course, if you just give it gibberish, 
it's going to tell you it's an invalid date. But you can see how there's different formats that you can do the date, but you can get the format you want out of that. So again, if I take any one of these examples I did, I can then just do um, plus percent and I can do y uh, slash percent month slash percent day. So there we go, I can format it like that. Or if I want dashes, I can do dashes. Or if again, if I just want the year, I can have a date inputted and grab the year. You can also grab the day of the week like we talked about earlier, uh, which I think was, was that A? Yes, so I can, if I want to know what day of the week that date was, there's Thursday, I can do a capital A if I want the full name. So I can give it any date, I can give it any year, I can say 56, I can say, uh, 1656, that was a Sunday, January 30th. I can get that. So let's use this to our benefit. We can actually have the user get input. Now, lots of times I've said in the past, if you're gonna let the user input something and it's something predictable, give them a list to choose from. Uh, for example, it, most GUI interfaces, you'll have a calendar and you, you can have them type in the date or you can have them pick it from the calendar. That way you know they're picking an actual date. And I would suggest doing the same thing with your bash scripts in many cases. Uh, I've used FZF to make menus like that. The date command can help you generate dates that are actual dates. Uh, but let's say we want the user to be able to input a date and then we can validate, is this a valid date if so continue well I have a script that does just that right here in my folder so what are we doing here we're saying well this is a bash script then we're going to say read and we're going to have a prompt so we're going to ask a question and whatever the user type is going to go into a variable called D so we're going to say what is the date of the event whatever event we're talking about right now I'm going to use the date command dash D I'm going to input the variable of whatever they just typed and then I'm going to format. I don't think I really need to have that I there. Um, but I'm going to dump whatever the output is to null. But if it's an invalid date, we're going. it's going to say it's an invalid date. That's part of the date command. And then X out of the script, it's not going to continue. If they enter a valid date in one of the many formats the date will recognize, we're then going to go and get that formatted. And we're also going to get the day of the week. And then we're going to output to the user, you selected whatever date, and in the format that we've uh, set it to and we're going to tell what day of the week it is so i'm going to go ahead and run that script i'm going to say get date and it says what's the date of your event so i can say 1 1 uh, 1901 and that was a valid date so it says you selected and you can see it's not the format i put it in it's in the format that my code wants and then it's going to say this is, it was a tuesday and again i can write that a different way i can say jan 1 1901 same thing I've typed it out in a different format. The code has converted it to whatever format me as the designer of the program wants it in, outputs that to the user and tells you what day of the week it is. Now, again, if I was to give it gibberish, it's going to, date's going to say this is an invalid command and then we told it to exit out of our script, do not continue. And that can also be true if you put in something that looks like a date but maybe isn't. Again, we can do, um, Let's say I said 01-33-1901. That's an invalid date. That doesn't exist. Um, so even though it might look like it's a date, if it's not a valid format, um, or you get like a month invalid. So if I was to say like 13-13-1901, um, it's going to tell me that's an invalid date because there's no 13th month. So our script knows to exit. You could also have it loop around and ask them again if that's what you want. So again, this is what my code looks like. Just a couple of lines. Probably could be even shorter, but we're getting the user input, checking if that's valid. If not, we're going to exit with a exit message of one. Then we're going to get the date formatted however I want it. Again, I can go in here and I can change how this is formatted. I'm doing dash I, which gives us the year dash uh, month dash day, but I can use any of those uh, examples we gave earlier uh, amongst others. Um, but I can say plus percent um, month forward slash percent D percent Y, capital Y. Run that again, if I typed it all right, now again I can say, you know, 
for my month, I can say two or O2. Even, even if you put extra zeros in there, I can go O, 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 two. I think will still work. Um, 30, 19, O, two, invalidate. So maybe I can't do that. Or no, there's no 30th of February. That's my problem. O, 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 two, 15, 19, O, two. No, I guess that's an invalidate as well. So maybe I'm wrong about the, uh, the leading zeros. You can have at least one leading zero. So I can say 15, 1902. Or I can say 2, 15, 1902. And of course, you can do days in the future. Of course, my sentence doesn't make sense here. Was the day of the week. But I can say, um, again, if you don't give it a year, I can say 10, 10. And it's going to assume it's talking about this year. So my sentence doesn't make sense. Sunday uh, and Sunday was the day of the week. It's going to be the day of the week at the time of recording this. But I can also say uh, 01, 01, 3000. And that will be a Wednesday. So I hope you found this useful. Again, we're going to be doing more stuff with dates in the coming videos. And we're going to use that in some code practically uh, in just uh, two or three videos. But I hope that you're enjoying this. I hope you learned something new. Again, check out the man page for date. So just man date and man date. Uh, and if you scroll down here, it shows you a lot of options that I didn't even go over on formats. So you can do things like, um, oh, day of the year. That's a percent J. Uh, there is one where you can get the day of the week uh in a numeric value from zero through six, that's handy if you ever want to write a code. Is it before or after Wednesday? Um, you can say if it's this number or higher, do this, or this number and lower, do this. You can do nanoseconds. So there's a lot of options in here that I didn't go over. Look through that and find what works out for your project. I do want to thank you again for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's first of the K. There's a link in the description. I'll uh, probably post this example code on Pastebin and put a link to it. So I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.